Hey everyone, it's Mana, and today I am doing um, my favorite book tag. This tag was started, I think, almost a year ago by All That Glitters 21, and I was looking for a video to do, and I came across her tag, and I was like, I love books, so I'm gonna do it. So, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, so this is, I think she only did five, but I have ten. So I'll, um, jump right into that. And my first favorite book, well, this is my all-time, first favorite, this is my all-time favorite book is My Sweet Adrena by V.C. Andrews. Um, as in general, V.C. Andrews is a bit disturbing as a writer. Um, this was one of the last stories that was actually written by V.C. Andrews. Um, they now have a ghost writer who writes under her name. But um, the first time I read this book I was in third grade and I was, I've always loved to read so I was just looking for something to read and when my mom found out I read it after I had already finished it, she was really, really mad at me because it was a really disturbing book. So, um, I would say probably at least 14 or 15 before you read this book. And then my next book that I like is Blood and Chocolate, and it's been, um, chewed on, um, <laughs> I didn't chew on it, someone else did, um, but uh, it's also a movie, as you can see by the sticker on the cover of the book, uh, but the movie is very, very, very different in the book. Virtually the only same things is the general plot and the names of the people. Other than that, everything is different, even the country they're in is different from the movie to the book. My next favorite book is really a series of books, but I consider them all just one really big book because it flows so well together, and that's the Harry Potter series, and this is, um, this is year five, this is just the one that I'm currently reading. I have all seven though, um, so yeah, the Harry Potter series is another favorite of mine. And then um, there's the Vampire Chronicles is my fourth, yeah, fourth book. And this one is Interview with the Vampire. My favorite of the Chronicles, though, is the Vampire Lestat, but I don't have that one right now. Um, it got damaged, so I have to buy a new one. And as you can see, this one's starting to um, come apart from how many times I've read it. I read my books to death. I read them till they fall apart. Then my fifth favorite book is P.S. I Love You. Um, this is a really sad book. This is one of the only books and one of the only movies that makes me cry. I'm not really a big crier, so one of the very, very few. And then the next two books are by the same author and are technically in the same series but because I have both of them on hand and it's just two books and that would be Baby Laughs and Belly Laughs. Well Belly Laughs and then Baby Laughs by Jenny McCartney. And I got these books when I was pregnant with my son and they're very very honest and as someone who's been pregnant very true. They tell you, in these in these books, Jenny McCarthy tells you a whole bunch of things that nobody tells you about pregnancy. And I actually kind of, I know she puts a good spin on things, but I actually kind of recommend these books to people who um, are thinking about having a baby so you can see what you're going to go through and make sure this is something you really want to do because a lot of women get pregnant and they don't expect what happens <laughs> to you and what happens to your body and all the things you go through. So I really recommend these books. And then, moving on from books about pregnancy, 
my two favorite books, and these have been my favorite since childhood, um, are actually also book series. I like series. And that are the Babar books, Babar the Elephant. I loved Babar when I was little. Elephants are my favorite animal. So Babar was a great big favorite of mine when I was little. And I still love him. I still remember all the stories. Um, I read these books to my son now, so I still remember them all. And then the next one is Paddington Bear. <laughs> um, I love Paddington. He lives on Windsor Gardens. Is that a real place in Britain? Because if it is, I want to go. Um, I want to go there someday so I can see where Paddington Bear lived. I love Paddington. He's like my all-time favorite bear. I used to have a little bear that looked like that. Well, a Paddington Bear. Bear. I got him at Barnes & Noble's when I was little. And... Yeah. And then my last, well, sort of my last book, is another series, but it's the first one in the series. <laughs> I'm terrible about series. And that's Undead and Unwed by Mary Janice Davison. And this is a vampire series. Um... But it's about the vampire queen, which um, is very, very, very different than um, Akasha in the Vampire Chronicles. Betsy Taylor is the name of the vampire queen in this series, which, yeah, is very cool if you read the books. I love it. And then I kind of have a bonus, um, a bonus series because the... Baby Laughs and Belly Laughs are kind of a series. There's a third one called Life Laughs. And um, that's about her life after she gets divorced and everything. So the next series is the An Irish Country series by Patrick Taylor. And this is about two doctors in Ireland in the 60s. I think 60s or 70s. I'm pretty sure it's the 60s. Um, let's see if I can find out. No, it doesn't say. But it's about two doctors. Their housekeeper are the main people in the books. And then, um, it's, um, it's told from the point of, sort of, from the point of an outsider. Like, you're looking in, you're watching a movie, kind of, I guess. And it talks about the whole town and everything. I really love these books. They're well. I guess it's told from the doctor's, from one of the de from Doctor Laverty's perspective, sort of. Um, I really love these books. Though. They're really great. I took this out of the library. Okay, it doesn't have my library's name on there anyway. That would have been awkward. Um, and that's it. That's my top, well, 11 favorite books. And I guess it's like much more than that because most of them are series. Um, funny thing is, My Sweet Adrena is actually not in a series. And it is one of the only V.C. Andrews books that is not in a series. Yes. Right here, you can see. My Sweet Adrena does not belong in the series. It's the only V.C. Andrews book, V.C. Andrews book that is standalone. Um, my favorite V.C. Andrews series, though, is the Hudson Family series. The Hudson Family series and the Logan Family series. I like those two as well. This is my all-time favorite book. And that's all my books that I love. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.